back in session. Commonwealth versus Wayne Chapman. Mr. Chapman, I'm going to enter a not guilty on your behalf. Uh, you are entitled to have an attorney represent you. Attorney DeVore, are you, um, uh, does he qualify for the appointment of counsel? He does, Your Honor. All right, and Attorney DeVore, would you accept the appointment of counsel? Absolutely not. All right, now I understand that there is another attorney that has some relationship to this case. Will you be working with us? Yes, the Your Honor, there's another attorney that represents him on a separate matter. Okay. I will be working with him. All right. So, Commonwealth, uh, before you have also filed a request for a 58A hearing? That's correct, Your Honor. Uh, Christian Meeks for the Commonwealth. Uh, at this time, given that the defendant is still civilly committed as a sexually dangerous person, after speaking with counsel, uh, the Commonwealth is requesting that our bail, bail rights be reserved, that he be sent back to the civil commitment until he's discharged, uh, and that he be returned to the court for a bail hearing uh, once he is released from the civil commitment. Uh, Attorney DeVore? Well, that might give us some time to get some more documentation together. What What is the length of the uh, balance of the civil commitment? Your Honor, at this point, um, there still needs to be a filing before the court that has not been filed yet. Okay. All right. What are we looking for for a date? I'm asking for June 27th, Your Honor. It's a Wednesday. I would ask, um, given my client's physical condition, that his appearance be waived for that date unless this is a bail hearing at that time. All right. Mr. Chapman, you understand that you're entitled to be present at every court appearance, uh, but that your attorney has indicated that you may wish to waive your presence unless there's going to be a hearing. Do you understand? And do you waive, so you agree to waive your presence at least in the event that it's a court hearing that does not ha take testimony? On his behalf, Attorney DeVore, did you have an opportunity to speak to him? All right. Uh, if there is going to be um, a further waiver, you can do it by way of an affidavit as well, so he can waive his presence at the hearing. I'm going to notate on the Commonwealth's filing that the um, that the Commonwealth's uh, that the hearing has been stayed until further date uh, uh, by agreement of counsel. Right. 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 Well, I also think that I'm going to just issue a held without bail. Uh, it's without prejudice, certainly, uh, just for the purpose of the Hague and the uh, and clarification of the um, court's uh, jurisdiction right now in this matter. And also for the record, Your Honor, um, there was a fifty-six um, minutes filed, fifty-eight um, filed, but I we are objecting to that. I, oh, I, We're preserving our rights. The, no, there's nothing. No action has been taken, and because there is, because there's some complication with the with the uh, the custody issue, until that gets resolved, he has, there's no jeopardy to either party. Okay, okay. Thank, you. thank you very much. And what? Uh, so we're looking at. Did we say the 27th of June? Yes. Yes. All right. We'll see you all on that day. Thank you. Very much.